is the motion team proposing to work on the theme Youth Inclusion and Democratic Consolidation in Mauritius. We at the Institute of Social Development and Peace believe that there can be no peace without justice. While we the youth have very little opportunity to reclaim our space in this country, some of us have nevertheless started taking cognizance of our rights as testified by the recent peaceful protest march that we participated in. This project, Youth, Inclusion and Democratic Consolidation in Mauritius, is about giving a voice to the young people. We believe that the inclusion of youth can go a long way in consolidating democracy. Masiastic Mauritius is often sold as a success story, but we are still stuck with an electoral system known as the first past the post, which is characterized with a winner takes it all syndrome. Moreover, it is abhorrent that we have to state our ethnicity to be able to stand as candidate for elections. We, the young people, find this unacceptable. What we therefore wish to do are to promote awareness and participation of the Mauritian youth on the need for a more inclusive democracy, ensure a better representation of young women in politics, advocate and lobby for a more just electoral system. What motivates this project is the egalitarian participation of Mauritian youngsters who will be well versed with all the institutional patterns in order to generate a more democratic state. We, the youth of Mauritius, are fed up with the politics of dynasty. Through this project, we aim to create an enabling environment for youth participation and to allow for transformation and inclusive citizenship. I'm Mark from Rodig Island, which forms part of the Republic of Mauritius. Actually, we received our autonomy years ago, but we, as youth, we think that this autonomy is not fully effective enough. We hope this project can help enhancing and giving Rodrigue a stronger autonomy. A major challenge that the youth and the young generation are facing is how to make the political system and democratic institution more transparent and accountable. Other challenges that we need to address are to build on the political literacy of young people and be the drivers for the renewal of the political culture. We the young people believe that this project will be a landmark in promoting an active participation of the youth in political issues and decision making.